In today's lesson, we're going to learn how to add and subtract polynomial expressions. The process for doing this is actually quite simple. All we have to do is combine like terms. Remember, like terms are things that have the same variable and exponent combination. In exercise one, we have four x squared plus x plus seven, and we wish to add to it the polynomial two x squared plus three x plus one. We begin by identifying the like terms. 4x squared and 2x squared are like terms because both of them have x squared. 4 plus 2 is 6, so we have 6x squareds. Next we have plus 1x and plus 3x. 1x and 3x gives me a total of 4x's, so I have now plus 4x. Finally, we see the constant terms. They're called the constant terms because they have no variables. Seven plus one gives us eight. And so the sum of these two polynomials is six x squared plus four x plus eight. In exercise two, we once again have two polynomials that we wish to add. This is for you to try. Identify the like terms and combine them. Please pause the video here and complete exercise two. We see that we have several like terms. We have negative one t and positive nine t, which gives us eight t. We also have negative one t squared and positive one t squared, which gives us zero t squareds. Our final expression in simplest form is five plus eight t. In exercise three, we see that we have to use the distributive property. We use the distributive property in each of these terms and then we can work on adding by combining. As we work through, we remember that when we multiply exponents, we multiply the numbers in front, the three and the four, and then we add the exponents together. So in the case of three a times four a squared, we have twelve a to the third. We continue along distributing and we end up with three a times three a, which gives us nine a squared, and 3a times one, which is 3a. Now we'll go to the second polynomial and we'll distribute the seven, giving us seven a minus 35. Now we can combine like terms. We see that we have a 3a and a 7a. Those together add up to 10a. There are no other like terms and so in simplest form, these two polynomials add up to 12a to the third plus 9a squared plus 10a minus 35. The distributive property is often needed and so you should use it carefully and keep your eyes open for that. Exercise four is for you to try. In this exercise, we see that we need to use the distributive property in the first polynomial. Please pause the video here and complete exercise four. When we distribute the two x, we see that we get two x to the third plus six x squared plus two x. Plus we have the second polynomial to add in. We combine like terms and we end up with two x to the third plus ten x squared minus four x plus twelve. In exercise five, we're going to begin looking at subtraction. When you subtract, you have to be very careful you have to remember to use the distributive property with whatever it is that you're subtracting. This is a very common error, so please proceed cautiously. In exercise five, we have two polynomials, three x to the third minus x squared plus eight, and the second polynomial, x to the third plus five x squared plus four x minus seven. We have this subtraction symbol in here and we have to distribute that subtraction into the polynomial. When we do that, we end up with three x to the third minus x squared plus eight. That's what we started with on the left. But when we distribute, we end up with negative x to the third minus five x squared minus four x plus seven. You do have to be very careful there. And again, please keep your eyes open. Whenever you have subtraction, you want to be sure to use the distributive property. Now we can combine like terms. When we combine like terms, we end up with two x to the third minus six x squared minus four x plus fifteen. In exercise six, we once again have subtraction. 
Remember, we have to distribute that subtraction sign as a negative. Please pause the video here and complete exercise 6. In this exercise, we have 3x to the third plus 8x. We distributed the minus as a negative, so we have minus x to the third minus x squared minus 12. Combine like terms and we end up with 2x to the third minus x squared plus 8x minus 12. In exercise 7, we have three polynomials. Remember to look and use the distributive property when you need to. Also, remember if you have subtraction, don't forget to distribute the minus as a negative. Please pause the video here and complete exercise 7. When we distribute the minus, we have negative 3p minus 6. We combine like terms and we end up with 6p minus 47. That's certainly a lot simpler than the original expression, isn't it? So, here's what you need to know. When you're adding or subtracting polynomials, combine like terms. Keep your eyes open, sometimes you need to use the distributive property. When you're subtracting, you always have to use the distributive property to distribute the minus as a negative. Once you've done that, you can combine like terms. This is everything you need to know to get started with addition and subtraction of polynomials.